All right, so what's up, YouTube? Um, I'm going to be giving you guys a no makeup makeup look today. And I do not even know why I look so angry and upset in this video. But um, bear with me. I probably was upset because I accidentally deleted my first one when I was um when I was editing it. I accidentally deleted it. But we're just going to start off by slicking our hair down and tying it up before we start our makeup. now I'll be taking my Nick Nack brow pencil in the shade black and I'll be filling in my brows and we're just going to fill in those sparse areas and do a line under it and on top and just blend it out. Send me your location and the vibrations I don't need. Right now I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Tall Fan and I'll be underlining my eyebrows. I'm going to be very light, not too heavy with it because the key to this no makeup makeup look is to not do all that extra glam and we just want to keep it natural and very minimal. Alright, so now we're going to apply foundation. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me in the dewy version of it in the shade 355 Coconut. I feel like I use dewy because it looks more skin toned, like more skin texturized opposed to having a matte look, matte, matte, whatever it is. <laughs> and also be very minimal, like the key to this is to be minimal as possible. However, if you do have acne or red dot, you know, red spots or something, it is you could color correct. But just don't overdo it. Now I'm just going to blend all that out with the dry beauty blender. I didn't use a damp one. I don't know why. I used the dry one. But yeah, so I'm just going to blend it out with my beauty blender. Ain't been getting high. Well, maybe a little, baby. I don't want to lie. I know when you text me, girl, I don't always reply. Well, you're not an angel either. You can't even fly. I know this. You think that you know shit. All this shape is coming at me. I wonder who does it. They can't see the vision, boy. They must be out of focus. That's a real hot album, homie. I wonder who wrote it. Oh, shit. Hey, boy, it's good if he knows it. He don't say it, he shows it. So now we're just going to lighten our face back up and we're going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Tall Feet again. And we're just going to highlight under our eyes, the bridge of our nose, our cupid's bow, and possibly our forehead and chin. I'm not sure yet, but I'll see. Now we're just going to blend it out with that same beauty blender that we used to blend out our foundation. So now it is time to highlight and I will be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and the key to this is using a shade that's closer to your skin tone. So I'll be using hot sand for my highlight and I'm just going to go in with the little fluffy brush that I got from Wet n Wild and I'm just going to, you know, tap up the excess and highlight my nose, cupid's bow and cheekbone. going to go in with my mega plump mascara by wet and wild and i'm just going to apply like two coats on my lashes you know no reason to go overboard and have a caked up eyelash um mascara like we're in middle school
Now it is time to do our lips and I will be lining my lips with the Ruby Kiss Ultra Easy Lip Liner in the shade Brown. And we're just going to line that out and then just blend it out with the, you know, that sound, whatever we do when we're blending out our lip liner. But yeah. And now I'll be putting on my holy grail, you know, just a clear lipstick, lip gloss, a clear lip gloss. You know, every girl has some of that. And I'm just going to apply that all over my lips and we are done and good to go.